Welcome back. Moorhead police are concerned about the growing problem of prostitution and sex trafficking. They're pushing for new rules in the city that will require massage therapists to provide a proof of citizenship and require them to live within 100 miles of where the business is located. Police say the majority of massage therapists in the area are legitimate, but they don't want any business to slip through the cracks. A local woman who teaches massage therapy says she doesn't believe the problem will ever go away in the industry. If a client does potentially cross the line, we do train them in the different scenarios so they know how they need to react so they're not put in those tough situations. And when you're looking for a massage therapist, Hovel Matson says look for a posted license that's renewed and up to date. And when in doubt, just get a recommendation from a friend. A chilly day to kick off the start of the Lent season. Today, of course, is Ash Wednesday for Catholics across the valley. Members of the gathering braved the crowd to share a blessing with the community, which included the placement of ashes on a person's forehead and the sign of a cross. It was a chilly afternoon. Temperatures were only about uh, six below. The gathering is also hosting a pub talk tonight at 7 o'clock. That's a conversation connecting Ash Wednesday to current day events. And just a reminder, Fridays are no meat days, and Valley News Live will keep track of the area's holding fish fries throughout the Lent season. A very chilly day to be out there Older. doing that. Yeah. Well, up next in sports, two former Bison players ready to show NFL scouts they're ready to play. Stay with us.